you know, Trudeau is authorizing banks. You know, Trudeau, son of Fidel Castro. Is that proven? Not either. It, let's just say it's true. Justin Trudeau is authorizing banks to unilaterally freeze accounts of truckers and people who support the truckers on the basis of suspicion alone, no court order required with legal immunity. So this is, we've seen over the last year and the last couple of years, people get deplatformed. They, they kick people offline, freeze people's bank accounts, the media doxes people. I've never, this is the craziest stuff that I've seen in my life. This is insane. When people talk about social credit score and, and heading into this system and people go, no, you're a, you're a fucking conspiracy guy. Not going to happen. Well, it's not going to happen here. Already we're marching towards that very quickly in Canada. It's not, it's, it's, it's like it's our northern neighbors. So let's see what's uh, going on here. We are broadening the scope of Canada's anti-money laundering and terrorist financing rules so that they cover crowdfunding platforms and the payment service providers they use. These changes cover all forms of transactions, including digital assets, such as cryptocurrencies. That's right. The illegal blockades have highlighted the fact that crowdfunding platforms and some of the payment service providers they use are not fully captured under the Proceeds of Crime and Terrorist Financing Act. Our banks and financial institutions are already obligated to report to I financial mean, it really transactions. is hard to see a future for the world that doesn't involve just ordinary... And now again, please, I mean, I don't even want to say this because you know we're on like one of these things this is a satirical show it's a comedy show and i'm a satirist right but that having been said it is hard to imagine a future and i don't want this okay i don't want this but it's hard to imagine a future that doesn't involve regular people engaging in acts of terrorism against the government and i don't want that to happen but I'm trying to imagine a future where I don't see, like, as I go to bed at night, when I'm thinking about what could happen in the future, I'm trying to imagine a future where regular people, uh, certain portions of them, are not tempted uh, to take up arms uh, against the governments. If governments basically go, okay, peaceful protests are not allowed, and we can take all of your rights and we can force your kids to be masked, and we can destroy their quality of life, and we can destroy your quality of life, and we can take all your money. And 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 we're coming out of this in states, but in Canada, they're just, you know, they're still fucking with them. And the truckers who for, have been largely, it's been peaceful, and of course the media's, you know, planted a few swastikas and done all, you know, I mean, they, the opposition, you know, they've done what they can do to try to frame these people as racist psychopaths, but it isn't true. They just don't want to get a vaccine uh, that's efficacy has been in, in certainly some level of debate. Um, and they don't believe, they don't want mandates, they don't want these things. And and, and, and they're doing peaceful protests and blockades. And uh, But again, I mean, it's not, you know, they're not looting and lighting things on fire, right? From what not that I've seen, I've seen they, they're not engaging in like violent, they're not ripping people out of cars. But the government's now going, we're coming and taking all the crypto and we're taking any funding you're getting, anybody that's supporting you, we're going to take because we don't agree. Now, Black Lives Matter, they said millions and millions of unaccounted for dollars. And everybody was supporting that, and a Hollywood celebrity, and everybody's going out and going, hey, this is great, and, 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 and all the money, and Amazon, all these big companies were like, we're supporting you, but this, people are like, if you send money to them, we're going to freeze your account, you're money laundering, if you're supporting this cause at all. If you're supporting this cause in any way, with money, with crypto, we're going to come after you and, and, and freeze back. So I'm trying to imagine a future, and I'm hoping, to, I hope that I can do it, 
but i'm trying to imagine a future where you don't eventually see if these types of things continue people that are truly hopeless and destitute because now they don't have any money and they can't get into their bank account you know i i i'm trying to imagine a future where people don't get radicalized and you know start acting up